What a truly waste of a season. And I told you guys from the get-go, Dorsey hired fucking Kitchens because he didn't want the same result to happen to them that happened in Kansas City where you got fucking Andy Reid hired. You get an established head coach there with some fucking cachet, and guess what? Dorsey's out of a job. He didn't want that to happen in Cleveland. So he hired fucking Freddie Kitchens, a guy he can push around, put on fucking strings like I do. And guess what? That selfish fucking buddy boy wasted a fucking season of the Cleveland. He wasted a whole season. Wasted it. That's just a down season. Instead, there's no progression on Baker Mayfield. It's a regression. So it's a wasted season. And it's to the point now where the Browns are probably thinking to themselves, well, is Baker the guy? I mean, we got the Bengals getting fucking Burrow. I mean, we're stuck with this fucking guy who's fighting with Bengals fans because he's too damn sensitive. Did we get the right guy here? Now, I be- listen, I believe Baker's the right guy. However, if I could trade him right now for, uh, what's his name? Burrow, I wouldn't a heartbeat. I, you know me, always like a tall quarterback. And I think Burrow's going to be good. But I still believe in Mayfield. However, he's got to get the right coach. You got to get a coach that's going to tell him, listen, motherfucker, we do we do things our own differently. Freddie Kitchens, you can see the relationship between Freddie Kitchens and Baker may have been good when it first started out. But as the season progressed, as Baker struggled, you could see all the players did not like Freddie Kitchens because they knew the whole culprit of this fucking bad offense was Freddie Kitchens. And it was evidence. Freddie Kitchens was so... Why do we get these stubborn-ass coaches? This guy didn't want to give up play calling duties. Worst play caller in NFL history. Hugh Jack... He makes Hugh Jackson look like Bill Belichick. That's how bad Freddie was. He was in... And people are saying, oh, it's a shame. Freddie was a nice guy. Fuck Freddie Kitchens. You know what he should have done? He should have said, you know what? I need help here. But the motherfucker didn't want no help. He wanted to be the fucking genius. He was nothing. Instead, he wasted a whole fucking year. He should have, you know what he should have done? When it started getting rough for him in week four or five or six, whatever the fuck it was, he should have went to Dorsey and said, I need help. That's what he should have done. But instead, he been, he was a fucking, I hate him. I fucking hate Freddie Kitchens. I can't stand that motherfucker because he wasted, actually, him and John Dorothy, 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 him and John Dorsey both, wait, especially Dorsey because he's the one that hired this clown. Because like I said, Dorsey is a fragile motherfucker. If it was up to me, I would get rid of Dorsey. Simply just because the motherfucker had some bad draft picks. And I don't like this Freddie Kitchens. This Freddie Kitchens hiring basically had guys on the team. It was a mutiny. They didn't want to be here. Now, I'll guarantee you one thing. They get a new coach. Everything's going to work out because the players are going to be reinvigorated. They know. But we need a guy in this... You can't have Fred. That, oh, that was. I'm still trying to get over how Freddie Kitchens was named head fucking coach. And then the, when he got hired, this is show building the Browns. They showed him the day he got hired, walking around Berea, talking to Dorsey like they were best. It was embarrassing. I said to my brother, I said, "Oh my God, this ain't gonna end good." I knew it wasn't. It was just a bad hire. So Dorsey, I'd like to see Dorsey fired simply because of that hiring. I can't get over that. And quite frankly, I'm not impressed with Dorsey's. Uh, let's be honest about it. Sashi Brown had all these picks, and I believe John Dorsey wasted a lot of them. I do. Sorry. I believe he wasted I mean, Antonio Callaway, the third, what, I think it was a third-round pick. I don't know what it was. That was a waste of a pick. The uh, Austin uh, Corbett, waste of a pick. He got lucky on Nick Chubb, but he had some bad picks. And Baker Mayfield, jury's still out on him. I believe he can play, but I'll be honest with you. The more I see a Baker getting taunted by Bengals fans and him dancing, he needs to learn to shut the fuck up because he's an easy target. And it's, uh, if you don't be bleed brown and orange, well, this whole Baker Mayfield high school thing, it's not high school anymore. You're stuck in this goddamn high school. It's not high school. It's professional, motherfucker. You do things differently on a professional level. You win, okay? So, and people are going to say, oh, well, aren't you kind of mad you don't have Lamar Jet? No. Believe me, Lamar Jackson ain't going to work anywhere else but Baltimore. you got to have a certain offense for him. And if that offense works for him for the next 10 years, so be it. But I don't think that offense is sustainable. But right now, he's doing great. I'm not going to lie. But I'd rather have Joe Burrow in a heartbeat than Lamar Jackson or Patrick Mahomes in a heartbeat. That's just me. I like quarterbacks. That's why I said I know Mayfield can play. But under the tutelage and guidance of Kitchen, it was a doom. It was doomed from the start. Because you can see when your quarterbacks were regressing, we should have known as Browns fans. Quarterback regressing, they were going to make the move. I was kind of nervous. But I, they had to make the move. When your franchise quarterback regresses because of coaching, and that's what it was, coaching. How did Ryan Lindell, or what, how the fuck did he get the job in Cleveland? This guy wasn't even, I think he played for the Chargers. He was fucking, what, two years fucking scrub. 
And of course, the you know, coaches on the staff, well, yeah, we want another year. They know they're all fired. The defense, players quit. This is a move that should have never been made. Freddie should have never been hired. The interview process last year was so retarded. I mean, you had a guy, Bruce Arians, who begged for the job on national television, right? He begged for it. And uh, John Dorsey didn't even bring him in for an interview. It was embarrassing. I mean, you got a established guy like Arians who always wanted that coach in Cleveland. He wanted it. You didn't even bring him in. He would have been the perfect co coach for young Baker Mayfield. Because if he, if he coached his team right now, we'd be in the playoffs and Mayfield would look a lot different. Trust me. And if they were worried about losing Kitchens, they were worried about losing them to Tampa Bay. Freddie Kitchens to uh, Bruce Arians. That's what they were worried about. That's why they said they gave him the job. Well, if you hire Arians, he'll probably keep him. And I'm glad. I'm, uh, listen, I don't think he would have been an offensive coordinator, but he would have been on the staff because Freddie Kitchens cannot call plays. That's for sure. The worst. I mean, he's got like nine plays. So this, this, this hiring should have never been done. The bottom line is, and then Mike McCarthy wasn't even given a shot last year. I, I, I kind of think that uh, Dorsey had uh, you know preconceived motions about him. Maybe they, he didn't like him in uh, Green Bay. I don't know. But Dorsey, they, I think they need to, the, the, the guy, Paul D. Potest, I guess, wanted McDermott, and they should have got him. He needs, Dorsey needs to stay the fuck away from this draft, or this draft and this hiring. I don't want nothing to do with Dorsey. Nothing. Nothing. But, um, yeah, this move shouldn't have been made. And I don't even think the coaching search was even maybe three candidates. Greg Williams, I'm going to tell you right now, if he was still the head coach of this team, we'd be in the playoffs. One thing about Greg Williams is, he would have, you know what, it would have been a perfect swan song for Greg Williams to go out as a coach of the Cleveland Browns. It would have been perfect. I didn't want him because I, I, here's me, I thought it was all Freddie Kitchens and Baker Mayfield. In fact, it was Baker Mayfield and uh, Ken Zampisi last year, what it really was, because Baker played great last year. He really did. And it was Ken Zampisi. I found out that Ken Zampisi gave Freddie Kitchens all the plays, and that's what got him through last year. No Ken Zampisi this year, no Baker Mayfield and Freddie Kitchens. So, and, if the, and here's my thing. If the Cleveland Browns, they say to themselves, you know, we're going to move on from Baker Mayfield. I'd have no problem with that. I believe he can play, but I wouldn't have a problem with that. I really wouldn't. Because I'm getting tired of his shenanigans, to be honest with you. I don't want my quarterback. This isn't high school, motherfucker. You're not varsity blues. You're the National Fucking Football League. So this move shouldn't have been made. He stunned the growth of your quarterback. He ruined, I mean, you got, look at this offense we have. Kareem Hunt, Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry, David. Oh, that's another thing about Freddie Kitchen. He gets in too many confrontations with players. He don't play them. Rashad Higgins don't play. Uh, it just doesn't, I can, the list goes on. Who was the other guy? David Njoku don't play. No. We have too much talent offensively to have one of the worst offenses in football. So, this move had to be made, but he should have been hired. They should have did a better coaching job. I'll be honest, I like Sean McDermott. However, I believe Buffalo needs to, they need to get somebody offensively to get a hold of Josh Allen because he should be a lot better than he was this year. Josh Allen should, because I like Josh Allen. In fact, out of all the quarterbacks in that draft, if I can go back and pick one of them right now, I would take Josh Allen. I would. And then probably Baker Mayfield. I would take, or maybe even Sam Darnold. I don't know, but I would definitely take Josh Allen, but he needs someone to work with him. Um, the guy in Buffalo, McDermott, good head coach, but they need somebody to work with Josh Allen. But anyway, Cleveland needs to get this next hire right. And it's got to be someone with discipline. I I don't care who it is. I know we say this every year. It can't be any worse than fucking last time it was Hugh Jackson. And we found the worst. Hey, listen. We found all these guys. Pat Patton. Then we got uh, Hugh Jackson who was worse. Then we got Freddie Kitchen who was worse. They're all worse. Now, Rob Janinski was a way better head coach than uh, Freddie Kitchen. Way better. And he wasn't even, I think, what, an offensive coordinator one year. He didn't get a fair shot. But I don't know who they're going to hire. But whoever it is, is going to inherit. They're going to be one lucky motherfucker. Because offensively, this team's set. Defensively, you got some holes. And uh, that's why I don't know if I want Dorsey to touch this draft. I'm not impressed with Dorsey's draft. He had a few good picks, but a lot of misses too. So, that being said, I knew it was happening. My sources already told me, but... This is just, it's kind of hard to look at it because you're looking at a team that had a wasted season, and I blame John Dorsey because of that wasted season. It's just almost 10 minutes. I don't know if I can go over 10 minutes because YouTube, I don't know. But anyway, it was a wasted season. John Dorsey should be fired also. It's looking up from here. I expect next year to be in the playoffs. Different year altogether from everybody on the team. Happy day.